we had this neighbor that used to play classic music on the piano and I fell in love with it. I really I, I used to sit outside on his fence and listen to him play and it really felt like magic to realize that music is my life. This is what I want to do. I started looking for a band, searching for music. Me and my friends were playing with a with a band, a live jam band called Dani Kuku. Um, one day Kuti just showed up with his keyboard. Ta -da. So we really liked his uh, groove on the keyboards and his musicality and his spirit. Uh, kidnapped him as a member. Ever since then, me and him, we started doing some stuff uh, at my home studio and Kuti was just staying here in this studio and making his album. Not so many people know that, but Kuti was obsessed during this time. I was coming here like uh, 2 or 3 a.m. looking through the door and he was like crazy, like, uh, <laughs> really into it. He was like hardly even noticing me, you know. But he paid the rent. which is a Israeli hip-hop funk group. I'm playing in another band named Funkenstein. We recorded our first album last year. Kuti was a co-producer in this album. There was a jam session going on and Kuti was playing there and we stopped playing and since then we became like members of Onikuku. I remember the first time Kuti got the computer and uh, after a few weeks I came to his place, you know, to, he told me, come listen to the to some things, you know, I was like, was like, wow, I can't believe it. And I think this is the first time I understood that Kuti is something very, very special. And I hope the people will understand, like, what's coming, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Kuti is coming. <laughs> Came to see Sabo. Somebody told me, listen, this is Kuti. And then I saw him sitting in a very small studio, digging, digging inside his music, and he was so concentrated. When he called me and uh, told me, maybe you're gonna sing on the, the record, and he was so professional, you know. I came over with the simple equipment, really something really simple. I start singing. Uh, sometimes he told me what to sing, sometimes he told me do whatever you feel like. Magical, I don't know, it's uh, one of the beautiful projects I have ever was part of, you know. It's, and there is another thing, about Kuti that is gathering us. We're all together on stage, many people, many friends, uh, many people we are appreciate each other as the musicians. And Kuti gave us the opportunity to, to make it, you know. Everybody who will get to know his music will feel the magic. <laughs> part of uh, Funkenstein, the band. I was part of a band called Beasts of Eden. I was playing in New York. I'm part of Kudiman. With Kudiman, it gets really deep because it's great. We just, we're just doing these, uh, it's kind of a meditating loops of, uh, of rhythm and blues and, and other musical stuff and just things happening on them rhythmically and vocalizing. And, it's just, uh, it's beautiful. I guess what's so special about him is just that he is so special in his music. Every uh, note he plays and every thing he edits in the music is just so fine. When I make the music or when I listen to the music, there are some, some spots that I feel like that this is it. This is, this is, this is the meaning of life, I guess. It sounds like a bit cliche, but I can't really explain what music is to me. But there's a single that says that music is ruling my world, and it's something like that. <laughs> 